Oh, well, it looks like the board meetings are finally over. And yeah, I got a few minutes to have a break. Sounds good. Uh, Dave and Amy will be stopping by a little later with a question about a missing mace. Hmm. A missing mace. Hmm. I love being the Grand Marshal, leading the faculty procession, hearing the magnificent organ, and especially carrying the official university mace. That's awesome. Why do I have to go over to the academic records and get the mace out of the vault every time I want to use it? I'm a busy guy. I mean, I get it. We're all busy. But why can't someone from their office just bring it over to me? Come in. Your mace, Grand Marshal. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. Welcome. Thank you. We're going into the vault to retrieve the mace. Please maintain security. Oh, oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Where could it have gone? But, I... but look, there's a slip of paper. Oh. It says, within this box, you seek the mace. No mace you find, but just this clue. Please, please, whatever else you do, don't call Agatha Andrews to this place. Wait, wait, don't touch it. Fingerprints. A crime of this magnitude only can be solved by an investigator with a high caliber. But you heard the warning. Which is exactly why I'm calling Agatha Andrews. Perhaps she can save us. Oh, no problem. Just having a spot of tea. The University in Mesas. Uh, the ones we use at graduation. Oh, shocking, shocking. Uh, not, not the Mesas, the, the poetry. Um, but don't worry about the Mesas. I'll put my thinking cap on and get back to you. Who at Andrews would use Mesas? Where are all those Macy places. Dr. Cadell, we've got a mad goal in the pen number three. He's kidding, kicking and hooting, and we don't know how much longer the pen can hold him. I better get the sticks out. Okay, oh, look at that, sweetie. Doesn't that feel good? Don't you feel better now? Oh, yeah. That feels wonderful. Good girl. Good girl. A bucolic scene to be sure, but maybe not the most probable. Where could those maces be? Eleanor, you're doing a great job tonight, getting an especially rich sound on those timpani. Thank you, Dr. Graves. Could be, could be. Uh, those percussionists are a, a shifty lot, but we need to keep thinking about other possibilities. Yo, Kev, where's, uh, where's Dave Fainer? I don't know, man. Now that he's retired, he's, like, he's been late 
to all our morning games. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there he is. He's coming. He's coming now. Hi, guys. I I'm sorry I'm late. How do you like my new paddle? <clears throat> all right. I'm, I'm ready. I'm going up here. All right. Oh my word, I, I, I don't think he would do it, but these ex-jocks, isn't that what the Yankees call it, will do anything to win. But, but no, Francie would never let him get away with it. So how was that? Feels good. Feels good. Is that your fist? No, no, it's a new tool we've just acquired here at our clinic. Wow, it's, it's just about perfect. I just feel like I need a, something a little thinner up in the neck area. So how's that? Wonderful, Dr. Scott. Feels amazing. It just makes me want to donate just a truckload of money to this university. Well, I'm sure somebody at the development department could help you out with that. No, no, no. I've woken up with that kind of dream in the middle of the night far too often. There must be another culprit. John Andrew, you've just been awarded Pilot of the Month, and we're giving you this commemorative university mace to carry with you the rest of the month. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted one of these. Now, uh, what do I do with it? Return it at the end of the month so we can get ready to give it to the next lucky winner. Sometimes they think just because they're out there away from campus, they can do whatever they want. But no, I don't believe they do this. Pilots have to have too much integrity. Could I have some Sam's chicken, please? <laughs> hey, by the way, the Sam's chicken's really good these days. Are you guys doing anything different with the Sam's chicken? You're a sharp observer. As a matter of fact, we got some new technologies that's helping us in the tenderizer process when we prepare Sam's chicken. I've noticed it too, and it does make a difference. You know, Kristan and the board chair mentioned something about the Sam's chicken the other day. So, so maybe, maybe there is something in that idea. And believe it or not, it's actually the length of two ancient cubits. Wow, amazing. <laughs> I think this tool can revolutionize the measurements and study in ancient Near Eastern and biblical archaeology. How so? Well, we can now do all sorts of complicated measurements on site without having to rely upon those complex lasers and the batteries that might fail, leaving you, you know, stranded in the field. What kind of testing have you done with it? Well, last week we were called in by those Ark Encounter folks down in Kentucky to check their, check their measurements. They were off by two cubits. They're going to have to redo the whole thing. Wow. This is a game changer. We'll have to order a couple of dozen of these to take to Jordan this summer. Yes, I've already done it. I had to get the order in fast before there's a run on maces. When word gets out about how useful these things are, there's going to be a national mace deficit crisis for sure. Having experienced technical difficulties myself, I can certainly sympathize, but two dozen maces? I hope they've done the responsible thing and and run it by Chip Meekma's office for approval. <sighs> I hate these difficult budget decisions. 
this year it's either raising compensation or getting six giraffes and a giraffe pin for the Agriculture Education Center. They both cost the same, and they're both very important. But I can only do one. Well, let's do blue for compensation increases and yellow for giraffes. Let's give it a spin. Loretta, order those giraffes. Delby, Delby, we need to see Dr. Luxton now. Oh, sure. Right away. Sure, sure. Dr. Luxton? Dr. Luxton? Dave Novak and Amy Ragoso are here to see you. Have them come in. Dr. Luxton, I'm... I'm just horrified to tell you that the University Mace is missing. University Maces, the big one and the two small ones. Surely not. Aren't those kept in the University Vault? Yes, but when we checked in the vault, they were missing. I just don't think we can have graduation without the Maces. I, I brought this meter stick, but it just doesn't measure up. Quite right, quite right. Now, you know, I was putching around my office the other day and I found a box, and I think I moved it um, over there. Whoa! <sighs> Three cheers for the returned maces! For the staff. For the faculty. For the university.